all over Alberta you'll see signs like this one and some of them will actually have warning cathodically protected cable below. What does that mean? That means then that there's a metal pipe under the ground that they're running a current through to protect it from corrosion. That's cathodic protection. There's lots of different ways to do that too. How can you protect iron pipe under the ground or, or metals anywhere from this? This O2 and water half reaction, when oxygen and water are in the environment, they love to gain four electrons to turn into hydroxide. And they'll gain them from left over right, because this is the way they're arranged on the chart, they'll gain them from iron and take iron and break down iron. Or magnesium and break it down. These are valuable metals. And so, we have to find a way to be able to prevent this reaction from causing so much damage. Well, how do we do that? Well, we can paint uh, the, the surface of the metal. That'll keep this away. We can actually run an electrical current along a piece of iron. That'll supply the electrons to this instead of the iron. So we can protect the iron from this cathode, because it's undergoing reduction, through cathodic protection. But the neatest way in order to accomplish this is to take a piece of magnesium and just touch it on or wrap it around the iron. What the magnesium does is because it's a stronger oxidizing agent, this is the arrangement of them on the chart, that magnesium will actually protect the iron and donate its electrons first. So will zinc. And therefore that's why we coat nails with zinc. It's called galvanizing because then it protects the iron, which does the major part of holding the fence together, and the zinc rusts first. Cathodic protection. That is so cool.